Okay, here we go. This is my first uh, Gmod tutorial, and I'm going to teach you about the facer tool. This is the first one of the uh, turrets I showed you. This is the one with the Gatling gun. Pretty much all you do is you select a model, right click, uh, you can go ahead and get rid of it because it saves it in here until you select a different one. Uh, you can use whatever you want, literally, but just watch out because some, some props, uh, you don't expect that a certain side to be a front. I've tested this one out and it faces forward. All you're gonna do is you take a target finder, you make it target whatever you want. I'm just gonna make it target me to show you th show you stuff. And then uh, you need a beacon sensor, and uh, you don't need this stuff really. All you need is output world position. I'll just do that to make it easier. And you link them together, and this is pretty much saying, okay, retrieve world position of targeted object, which is me in this case. And so there is my position in the world. And now, what we're doing with the facer tool is it's saying, okay, where do I look? And you give them uh, coordinates on in, in the world of where you want this thing to face. And then I'm just saying, okay, face these coordinates, which are me, because I, that's how I set it up. And then you can go on, which, and then entity one, which means whenever there is an entity targeted, then it'll turn off. And so if you can see, it's following me dead accurate, no wobbles or anything. Uh, you'll notice though it does target the feet. That's how it works. It doesn't target the actual body. It targets where it is in the world, not the. It doesn't take into account the model type. And uh, if you want to fix that, uh, go take wire and prec R to turn it off, so you can go behind it or whatever you want to do. And then to fix that, it's really simple. You just take out uh, the average height of a person is about 60, 65 ish. And so I'm gonna take it add chip and then just stick that like right there and then a constant value of I found these uh, 65 now nah, let's go ahead and use 55 because sometimes it shoots too high uh, so so then you wire a to world Z so it's like okay where the player is like height like so right now it's changing world Z and then you want to add uh, 60 degrees, so it, uh, it 60 or 55. So now it's like where I am, World Z plus going straight up towards my face. And now we pretty much turn Z to that, and then on towards this entity one. And see now you'll see it's facing my face face kind of. Well, that's because I have it on 55. I probably should have put it on 60. And now we're gonna add a turret. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, R and then I'm gonna add an input. You don't have to. Uh, this is just so I can turn it off without dying immediately. Uh, let's just make it one and toggle. Uh, let's put that right there. And then an and all gate. And then you go logic and all. And all this is doing is saying, okay, if A which is going to be my input, so I press 1, input is 1, press it again, it toggles back off. So it's saying if A and B, which is going to be my entity, are 1, then it, this equals 1. Entity, it is 1, so like if I turn this on, it's 1, and this is 1 because it's acquired a target, so this is 1. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on to this, and then this is the same deal. Alright, so I turn it off, stays there. And now for a turret, I'm going to show you a turret. Um, you just spawn a turret and uh, you can set it to however you want to do it. I'm just doing this to show you so it's perfect accuracy and all that good stuff. Set it right there. It's a little, it looks a little off. I wonder. I got to set up the wire though. So I'm going to, I'm going to wire it to the same on as my, uh, let's press one so I can get behind here wire to the same thing as my input my and or that way it'll turn off too when I press the input so wherever I go it's just bam right in the face I have damage set to 0.5 so it's doing every yeah see so now I can uh, go back get up beacons Charge it fire, I can change it to target NPCs and then um, click on.
on that to update it. See, it says no target. And all you need to do is you spawn an NPC. Uh, let's pick the dick wall of spring. And then you click one to turn it on for me to use. If you target, if you wired it straight to your target finder, it'll just do it automatically. But target one. See, let's do like a shitload of them. Now let's upgrade this turret to make it more kick ass because that's boring to watch. Uh, bullet force, uh, bullet spread zero, damage 100. Let's make it launch two bullets per shot. Alright, now watch this. This is going to be like ridiculously fast. There. It's a super turret. That's pretty much it. That's all there is. And let's say, um, let's say you spawn over here. It, it goes so fast you don't have to worry about it. But I'll teach you that in another tutorial. Something that, uh, okay, now we're going to do the laser. Say if you want it laser pointed, uh, you just create this and, uh, you take out your weapons, get the laser pointer, right click, it says linked successfully. And now, pretty much, you just, it's really easy, just X to X, Y to Y, Z to Z, and then why not on to active, that way it's only on, you go ahead and turn a uh, fire to active too, alright, active, you know what, let's just do this, uh, let's do the and all, instead of, let's have input, and instead of targeter, let's do active that way I can just do that real quick um, and let's go ahead and wire fire to the and all and or thing back to the and or alright so I click one and then take out my laser if I can find it I think that was it alright see and I press one it'll turn on perfect accuracy anywhere you go let's test this thing out let's see how good of a shot I am Alright, ready? This is how easy it is, just point and shoot. And then like, if you want to know a little secret, you can just scroll to a different weapon, it'll stay on where it is. This is all you do. That is it. And now there's a third way to target them. I'm not gonna get get into that right now because I don't remember it. Okay, yeah, now we're going to do uh, make it pod controlled. So you just go to uh, vehicles, find whatever pod you want to use. I'm just going to use a normal, uh, I'll just use an office chair. Let's do this in style. And it's really easy. You just, oh, wrong. Should be here. There it is. You can put it wherever you want. It does not matter. All you're doing is saying, um, uh, look towards where I'm looking on this one and then you just go to advanced pod controller you can just set it on here and then you right click and right click the chair or whatever you're using and now it's the same thing just wire uh, X goes to X Y goes to Y Z goes to Z now you can turn on to active, which means when you're sitting in the chair, it'll uh, turn on. And then you can turn one fire to uh, mouse one. And then th that's it. Then you just. Oh. Um, um, I must have done something wrong. All right, it takes a second to start up, but then yeah, there you go. See, just another onslaught of let's. It'll take a second to restart. There you go. Then you just look wherever you want to go. Let's go around them. That's it. This. 
um, since I'm looking at it, it looks for every hit. It doesn't look in the, it doesn't go in the direction. It just goes to wherever, like say there's like a laser coming out of your face, like this. That's so then that's where it aims, and that's it. So you just left click. Okay, that's my turret tutorials. Um, yeah, I'll see what else. I'll work on my. I'll do the tire one next, which I do not recommend. But yeah, thanks for watching. Go have fun or kill people. I guess. I should think of a better ending.